WBX 18 News now. Good morning. Just past eight. I'm Chris Goodman. We thank you for joining us for LAX 18 News Now. Kentucky Representative Dan Johnson found dead in an apparent suicide last night amid sexual misconduct allegations. An investigative report published Monday alleged that he sexually assaulted a teenage girl but was never charged. On Tuesday, he denied those claims while refusing to resign. But last night, the Bullitt County Coroner confirms that he died of a single gunshot wound on Greenwell Ford Road in Mount Washington. He had posted an apparent suicide note on Facebook yesterday afternoon. An autopsy, we've learned, is scheduled today in Frankfurt. A semi crashed into a fire hydrant overnight in Lexington, spilling dozens of gallons of fuel. It happened a little past midnight on Mercer Road near Citation Boulevard. The fire department says the hydrant somehow punctured the semi's fuel tank on the passenger side. 50 gallons of diesel poured out. No word on exactly what led to the collision. The University of Louisville firing back at Rick Patino, countersuing the former men's head basketball coach. Patino had sued U of L for about 35 million. Now the university has sued him for the damages involved with money lost due to his involvement in multiple scandals. Those include multiple NCAA violations like the Katina Powell escort scandal. The suit alleges Patino hurt the university's reputation, negatively affecting business and recruitment. Hope you can join us on air for LEX 18 News at noon. We'll have the latest on Representative Dan Johnson's reported suicide. Your LEX 18 Storm Tracker forecast is coming up after this. Ageless medical weight loss can help improve your overall health. Robert lost 107 pounds and 83 inches. He reduced his cholesterol and triglycerides levels. Ageless is a safe, affordable, medically supervised weight loss solution. Call today for a free consultation. Hey, we've got a couple of fronts. One went through, another one coming through. And low pressure, this clipper already through the Great Lakes, the snow diminishing. So what we're seeing isn't snow out of it, but definitely some reinforcing shots of colder air. Get ready to stay pretty chilly the next couple of days. The good news, that gusty southwesterly wind from yesterday has significantly decreased just over the past six hours or so. And we're down to a 17 mile per hour gust in Danville and Harlan. It was southwesterly yesterday, became westerly to northwesterly overnight, and it's going to be straight out of the north today, which means, yeah, it's going to get cold and stay cold. We've dropped down to around freezing below it. Mid-20s in Covington, that's that colder air that is uh, working its way in behind that front in the next one to follow. So don't expect a warm-up today. Teens and 20s instead of single-digit wind chill, so that's an improvement. And the max track shows the snow is all off to the northeast. So really no worries about any kind of active weather the next couple of days. The biggest thing I'm tracking this weekend is a little bit of a warm-up. It'll be milder, not exactly warm. But also, pretty good chance to get wet at the end of the weekend. Not talking about snow. We're talking about rain potential Sunday. We're going to check that out in more detail, as well as your eight-day storm tracker forecast coming up on LAX 18 News.